Hello everyone, my name is The Fox, and here I am repairing my <laughs> mistake that I made. Uh, but at least we get to uh, take a look at another type of video on what we need to do to replace something. So in this particular video, we're going to replace the video cable to the display itself. So this is just mated, there's just a little bit of adhesive around here. And right under here, there is a little gap for us to get into. And again, you're going to want to use something that is not going to crack this screen. So plastic spudgers, again, come in uh, a big handy here. Also, another thing that I'm doing. So the problem, you can kind of see already that the how the problem occurred to begin with. This cable needs to be on top. Okay. When it's below like this, you're going to, you can actually see right there, right exactly where the pinch happened because of going under. So when I went under and I was, you know, bending the hinge, it was pinching this cable and that's how this cable busted right here. Uh, and again, you want it on top. So one thing that I am kind of saying as like, a, if you are going to be replacing your display cable for whatever reason, or you're going this far, only take out uh, the right hinge, the left hinge, just leave mated to the display uh, because it just to kind of remind yourself that the cable goes on top. So without further ado, we're just going to kind of pop open this. Now this video, like I'm saying, how to replace the video cable on your on your WinMax. Now the thing the thing here to uh, kind of be mindful of is that I've already done a video on how to take apart, how to disassemble a WinMax, and I'm going to link to that in the in the description field below, so you can have the full how-to video for like disassembling. I didn't want to make another 40 minute video of me disassembling everything because you can already reference that one video for uh, disassembling. You can kind of see that I'm just kind of going all around this display and let me go back up over here because it kind of seated itself again. All right, now that we have gotten a little bit of purchase, we're gonna go ahead and start lifting up that display. Okay, so that comes off right here and you can see the bits of adhesive and I'm not going to replace this adhesive that's on there. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of put it right back down again. You can see that there is a there is a bit of a cavity inside of here. Not much because this is a bit thick. And here you can see a magnet. Oh, the magnet moved. Goodness gracious. Make sure this magnet goes back in the correct location because that's used for the, um, the the wind max for going into sleep to powering off the LCD. This is actually pretty critical. Make sure that goes back where it needs to go. So you can kind of see where the cable gets fed down there. Thankfully, GPD was gracious enough to send me a whole new display assembly as well as some new tape. So we're going to kind of put this down right here. Here is the new cable that GPD has sent me and I have to be super careful with this. So basically we're going to replace this guy right here as it is, with all these little tiny wires that we want to be careful of. And there's two parts that we got to change. So here is the digitizer for the touchscreen. That's the touch digitizer. And then this is the display itself. That's the MIPI connection. And then that all goes out into here, into a working wire that I will put on the side. And then they also gave me some new um, fancy tape to kind of tape that down, although I don't really need that much of it. So we have the kept on tape right here. So let's just get busy. Let's start removing this. Since I have more of it, I really didn't need this tape. You really can reuse this. You know, I'll just, I have more of it. So I'll reuse that later. Now this is my broken cable, so I don't care about it as much. This is just adhesed from that. So this goes over in that direction, which we'll worry about more when we're placing it all back together. Now the kept on tape, I do want to reapply. carefully pull this off. I don't 
care about this cable too much, but I do care about everything that it's connecting to. Easy does it. Very good. Okay. That is coming out. Just going to pull that back a little more. Alrighty. I don't want to lose too much adhesive there. So let me figure out, this is going to come up, it should at least. Or does it go up the other way? Yes, it does. So this little part flips up, the black part flips up for this to come out. So we'll go ahead and take that out now, which that's now out. And now for this, does this come up? It does. So this flips up right here. And then we can, this is all like glued down. But I don't need this cable. So we'll take that out. All right. So, no, 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 no. Don't do the part that I need. Oh, it's like all adhesive to this. No, don't come off. All right, let me keep that there. I kind of want to not care. Okay. Goodness gracious. All right. So this is the busted cable. Put that on the side. There's some double adhesive sticky tape right there. Can I just take a look at the model number information? Because people would ask me. Okay, so we got all that. Let's start lining everything up. Whoa, sorry. Apologies. My tripod set up here is on a wobbly dobbly. All right, so we're going to first put this one in because I find it to be easier. too much. This is my good cable, right? Let's pull this out. When a lot of people that are actually doing this often, they often have like these pair of pliers that come in handy. Now this wire is right there. Is this in all the way already? Careful with how I'm doing this ribbon cable. Kind of want to, how am I going to, oh my goodness, everything has to get kind of put back together before I can start using this. I'm kind of looking at this as my bearings. You know what, let me go ahead and before I sacrifice this cable, let me get my piece of crap cable back. See how far that goes in. It doesn't go in that far. This is my crap cable, right? Yes, it is. All right, it just doesn't go in that far. Okay. Good to know. All right, so let me go ahead and do that before I run another cable. All right, so we're going to put that in, and we're going to use this cable as kind of our one true source, this cable down here, because it, it kind of lines up perfectly. So if this lines up perfectly, kind of get that in there. While that's there, I will push down on this to kind of lock it in place. Of 
obviously guys feel free to skip through this I'm just kinda doing it so that nothing is cut out and now we're gonna kind of use the same adhesive that was already on there if I have more adhesive that GPD gave me Ready? close that up all right and that's in okay now we'll just kind of tape back up over this make sure that doesn't move anywhere okay great good and awesome this is back okay so that display cable is back I am now going to put this back through the top housing make sure you're happy with everything I would say that the good thing about this is you can clearly see where the previous cable was if I would stop bumping my tripod setup oh, ho, ho, ho. right there so you can kinda just say you know go right there now let me go ahead and tape this down and then we'll jump ahead to putting it back through alrighty so I've funneled that cable through here remember to keep that magnetic part in its little cavity when you place the screen back so everything's good cables on top everything looks great uh, so now the part that we have to get it into the chassis this part right here goes into this very thin hole on the top of the chassis so it's gonna go in there first And then once you get it through that slot, you're going to want to feed the cable into the opening. And then we're going to start feeding the display through and then mount the uh, hinge. So let us get it through. Okay. Okay. That is now through. And now you're going to want to pull on the cable underneath not hard because you want to feed it into that hole now again keep the wire on top we don't want the wire underneath the hinge like I did previously because that would be bad wire on top alright so now we fed that through and now literally it's just reassembling everything which I've already done in the previous video so I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight ahead I'm gonna reconnect all of these hinges and start putting all of the components back in um, but that's it so uh, give me a second, I'll show you it updated and fingers crossed. And kaboom, it all works again. So, one of the things that's a little, you don't need a battery in to test it. it the Max can run without a battery. Um, there's a dual stage kind of charging mechanism. Like when you plug in, whenever you plug in the Max, it's actually running off of mains and charging the battery separately. Um, so, kind of one thing that I like to do is, you know, obviously you want to test what you're doing here before you even go too far. Uh, so now I can put the shield back on here. Um, it's right over here without bumping into this display. So that's going to go right back on there. Uh, I'm also going to put on the bottom casing and put the battery back in. Um, so that's it. That's working. Um, that's pretty much all that there is to it. Again, look in the description field for the link to my previous disassembly video to get like a more detailed, longer look at disassembling and then reassembling. Uh, it's all pretty straightforward. This is this cable right here is pretty much the only trouble cable kind of putting back in, and that's the, the touchpad driver. So that's the one thing that you're going to also want to do before you kind of really reassemble everything is you want to test all the buttons, make sure everything is working, uh, and then close it back up. But that's it. i um, glad that my display is working again. As always, guys, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.